uh, Sacred Heart Church in East uh, Berlin, Connecticut. I've been uh, here for five years, going on six years. I was supposed to be retired three years ago. I'm 78, but I'm too lazy to retire, so I'm staying on. The only way you can make money is by giving it away. And the only person who is really wealthy is the person who is generous. And Viridian, as soon as I get it, I spend it. Um, and I try to use it for whatever purpose. I put up a, a billboard and that says, oh Lord, remember nothing's gonna happen to me today that you and I together can't handle. I have an auto mechanic that just fixes my uh, motor. And uh, I tell him the radio doesn't work. He says, you don't need one. But I said, Peter, my uh, roof leaks on the left and it hits my left knee. He says, move your knee. It's much easier with Viridian. It's the easiest fundraiser I've ever had. It will remain until Jesus returns because it's like an annuity. Every week, month I get an income. And I made an announcement over a Sunday. I said, anybody who signs up now, guaranteed they'll go to heaven. They won't go to purgatory at all. So if you go Viridian way, you'll go definitely right to heaven. Um, well, I learned of hosting program through Father Ed and church. It was one of our probably first few times being here and he had announced that he needed a few couples to host a child from Ukraine and we kind of jumped at the opportunity. Well the purpose of the hosting program is to get people to host a child from Ukraine and then hope that they fall in love with the child and we're batting uh, about 80 percent uh, that 8 out of 10 that end up hosting want to adopt. So Viridian is helping me open more doors to, to hosting. So when I get up mass, I say, I've got some money from Viridian. If you want to uh, host somebody, I could come up with $2,500. Lo and behold, we met Dima. Um, he came for two and a half weeks last Christmas and we fell in love with him. He was just a joy to have. So after he left, we decided we'd adopt him. Um, we knew he had a little sister, so it was a package deal. We began the process for both of them. At the beginning, I think both my husband and I wanted to pull our hair out. We were tired and it was, you know, one struggle after another, but once we got into a routine and Dima started school and Natalia started nursery school, and it's really just been a joy. When I think about my children's future without this program, I really don't think that they would have been adopted. Ukraine has a negative growth rate and the chances of them being adopted by another Ukrainian family are very slim. Each one of the uh uh, children that have been adopted, I have a personal relationship. They'll come up and give me a big hug because there's a bond there. And they know that you had some kind of role to play in their life. And they're very appreciative. You know, a priest has, uh, hasn't got his own children. But when you are uh, involved in someone else getting a child, you, f you see your fatherliness come out of you. And you say, That's, I'm partly responsible for that child. It's a great feeling. I cry. Father Ed is a blessing to know. He just gives that option and opportunity to people that might not have it. Hi, I'm Father Edna Donnelly, and I am Generation V.